I'm Wayne Brown. Um, I live at the Sinket Lake. Uh, I have a business in town. I've had the business for 35 years. I came here in 1974 and uh, the main reason I came here is because I was tired of the politics in Ontario and I wanted to come to a northern part of the province uh, as far west as I could get and uh, the opportunity presented itself for me to actually get down to uh, this area and I was only planning on staying five years but I ended up staying 38 years, 39 years almost and um, it's, it's offered me all kinds of opportunity, but the nice thing about it, the area like this is the fact that we have such an environment. Clean water, to think it Lake is one of the purest lakes that has population on it. Mm -hmm. We have clean air. We can, I mean, it was two weeks ago, I was out paddling on my can, in my canoe on the lake. I mean, who else can be doing that kind of thing? You can't do that in a big city. I don't want to be a city guy. I want to be country guy and this is an area where you can be that and my my concern is they don't seem to have an understanding Embridge doesn't seem to have an understanding that they're putting through an area such as ours where it's it's there's too many gambles to take there's no way that um, I don't care how good the pipe can be Okay. My son's a welder. He understands what that's all about. He tells me all kinds of horror stories. There isn't a weld that has made that can stand earthquakes, avalanches, rock slides, all the catastrophes that can happen and will happen in this environment. If it's not stopped, we are going to lose all that we have. And as some of the elders were saying today, we will lose we will lose. We're the ones that live here. You can't give me enough money. Somebody could say, okay, Wayne, we're going to give you a million dollars just to, to say, you know, here you go and then you can do whatever you want. That doesn't buy me what I have already. You can't put a price tag on the environment that we've got here. You cannot continue to think about going through pristine areas. If, if, if China needs that kind of oil, we need to figure out a different way of getting it to them. My, my biggest fear, not just in corrupting our area, but our ocean, that coastline, is the most pristine going. We've already had the Valdez catastrophe, and we know for a fact that the Hecate Strait and any of that area along there is going to be corrupted as well. Look at the cruise ship that happened just on the weekend over in, the, in, a, in a pristine area. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, there isn't enough of anything that they can tell me that it's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. We have people, my cousins that live to the east, okay, uh, Halifax area, that whole coast over there, they have to import oil. What the heck are we as Canadians importing oil? When we got oil, why don't we set up refineries? I mean, you want to live in a city and, and have, have a refinery sitting in your backyard? Go ahead. But don't put it in a pristine area. It's just, it just upsets me to know it. It bothers me. Um, the fact that we've got this kind of um, consultation, it's nice, but it's lip service. That's all it is. Harper's already decided it's going to go through. Well, we need to say to Harper, I'm sorry, no. We already said to our provincial government, we don't want the HST. And we stood up and said, no, and we got that cancelled. We need to do the same thing with in Enbridge and just say, sorry, no, we don't want it through our territory. 